in the wake of the U.S. Supreme Court's historic decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, doctors say they're seeing a surge in the number of women who want to prevent future unintended pregnancies by getting their tubes tied. But a lot of patients fail to actually get this surgery, because an important W. The reasons why range from two full operating rooms to paperwork problems. This has long been a source of frustration, and it's taken on new urgency now that the court's decision has created a sudden increased demand for this permanent, extremely effective method of birth control. Tubal surgery, which involves cutting, blocking or removing the fallopian tubes that carry eggs, is the most commonly used form of contraception for women in the United States. But studies show that about 40% to 60% of women who had previously requested to have their tubes tied during a post-delivery hospital stay end up not getting it done. These women face a higher rate of subsequent pregnancy. About half of women who don't have their desired postpartum sterilization procedure will get pregnant in the next year, says Dr. Rachel Flink, an obstetrician and gynecologist in upstate New York. Women could theoretically come back to the hospital another time, says Flink, but this type of birth control is frequently requested by people who are poor, less educated and lack insurance, they're more likely to fall into groups of people who have difficulty accessing the health care system later. So from a patient's point of view, this can be the best possible time for tubal surgery, especially if they only have public health insurance because of pregnancy and will lose it soon after childbirth. Yet many different barriers can stand in the way. Sometimes it's that the hospital's operating rooms are just too full, so an elective procedure that doesn't seem like an emergency never makes it onto the schedule before a patient has to be discharged. Sometimes doctors think the patient is too overweight for the surgery, even though research that suggests obesity doesn't pose an added risk. Sometimes a doctor might try to talk younger patients out of it, saying they might change their minds. If the hospital has a religious affiliation, the surgery might just be prohibited. And then Therese one piece of paper that's especially problematic.